here, what's up boys and girls? We are back at it again, not only with another react video, but another video game react video. And this one, we're going to be reacting to two trailers once again. If you didn't catch my last one, we reacted to Starfield, and that was like a two-parter. And here is another two-parter, which is super exciting because during the Bethesda Xbox showcase, they showed off a ton of new games and a ton of highly anticipated ones. And one that, aside from Starfield, might arguably have been the most anticipated game. We already knew it was coming. But now we kind of have a tentative date. We have gameplay, we have footage, we have all that good good. And that is Diablo 4. Finally, what feels like an absolute century. We are finally getting Diablo 4 confirmed. I know we've had a couple of other Diablo things and such, so this is super exciting. I personally, I played a good amount of 3 when it came out. I never really got around to 2. I never- so... Side story for a sec. I never had a PC that could really run anything that great for most of my life until I was older. And by the time I was older, Diablo 2 and everything previous was old. So I wasn't really getting into that. I've watched a lot of gameplay of it. A lot of my friends uh, still play it and a couple of my friends still stream it. So I've watched more of 2 than I have played it. Three, I played on my PlayStation. Even that felt like 10 years ago now. So it's been a hot minute. And not only do they have the Necromancer being announced, which that is just such a cool class. Like, I love the whole concept of that and that we are getting that introduction for this, as well as we have official gameplay from Diablo 4 and the teasers I've seen so far. Let's go into these trailers and we break it down. Ugh. Missing an eyeball there, I buddy. I speak now to those who heed a darker call. Oh, good lord. Dude, we getting right into it. Okay. Those Hell. Bold enough. Cross the line of sin for deeper knowledge. Who follow an unquenchable yearning, born of blood and bone. To unlock the forbidden secrets and foulest black rituals. Calling forth life from death. Dude, this is so cool. This is so cool. Oh, wait, what? What? To truly embrace this power, you must take it into the world. And you will be shunned. Scorned. Marked as a living sacrifice to this profane knowledge. You will be a priest of Rathma. I wonder if those are all actual bones, like that a whole front piece. That's kind of dope, though. Yo, look at that thing! Not confront the darkness alone. We are the speakers of the dead, and the dead have no mercy. Bro, dude, dude, spicy, spicy. All we have right now is 2023, which I assumed as much. Uh, I feel like we're going to get a bunch of trailers regarding this game. So I, I'm, this is only the start and this is so exciting. The only thing that I am seeing here that is kind of worrying me is people saying, I hope this will be a one-time purchase, but I know how games are. And we are in the time of microtransactions. 
So I unfortunately have this feeling that every playable class that comes outside of the base set and every like new thing, like I really hope it is not going to be a pay to win. And I hope there are going to be options to unlock the content in game with in game currency. I personally really appreciate it when a game will put in an in game currency shop of sorts so that most of the content in the game you can get just by playing the game a ton. So games like League and and Dead by Daylight and, and Overwatch, they have ways to gain skins and other things within the game, or you can pay for them if you just want extra. So honestly, I like that model and I hope going forward, I want to hope that Diablo will give that same option of there'll be a, a both, but I don't want it to turn into a gotcha where it's a pay to win. But we do have some official gameplay as well to check out. So let's hop into that too and see how we go. And this is all on Xbox. Nice. Diablo 4 is the next generation of action RPG, melding monster slaying and loot collecting with a fully realized open world. It's not for the faint. I like that open it's world. Gory yes. And unnerving. It's creepy. Diablo 4 is all about Ooh, player choice. I like all of these terrains. It takes all of the pillars of a Diablo game and just expands them with all of the new features that people really love and appreciate in modern games. Ooh! Whoever you see yourself being, you can create in Diablo 4. It's important to include robust <laughs> character customization because then I Is- okay. Is it just me? It can't be just me. But I- also, look at the chest hair on this man. So anyways, point being- I always take like an hour to make my character and then somehow I'm still disappointed in the way they look and I'm not happy with it. It can't be me, right? It's not only me, okay. I can play the fantasy that I want to play. Ooh, see, this looks like classic Diablo here. Allows you to like dungeon switch around your play style as well. Ooh. Everything feels very powerful and fun. Oh, yoink! I like the look of it already. One of the really cool things about having an open world is your journey that you take throughout Diablo Four. And I like own. the open world a There's lot. There's no linear path that you have to follow. We've got almost 150 dungeons in the game. Jesus. There's all kinds of surprises as you're exploring. Strongholds are an enemy territory that you need to reclaim. You might have a space that begins as a hostile area, but after you've cleared it out... The evil in this Ooh. place has been cleansed. It now becomes a friendly town. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Sometimes it's a so you can, town. like, clear Sometimes outposts, kind of. There's a whole bunch of rewards that you get, and you have a real impact on the world as a result. No, you can't leave us here. They might oh. come back any moment. Local events are really cool little story segments that happen within the open world. You'll just be running through the world, and then a local event will pop up, and you can choose to participate in it or get a group together and just wail on these, like, giant world bosses. Oh, damn. Look at this dude. What? What's These with his arm? Take a lot of people what's, and what's you really have to work on? together. Yo, Being able to see all the my players man's just on barfing your screen, out lava. collaborating, trying to take this big monster down. It's it's epic. Dude, what? That thing looks so cool. It's so easy to create a community. It makes Diablo more of a social experience. We've got fully enabled crossplay. If you have an Xbox nice. and your buddy has a PC, you're gonna be able to group up. Because I don't have an Xbox, so I'm gonna be on playing couch, on sit PC. Sit there and have a great experience. We've created specific zones where players can engage in PvP. If you go there, you can start swinging away at people, but you're also opening yourself up to being swung at. That's a no-go for your girl. If I will be like friendly really, with everybody, really don't hurt the me. The game actually <laughs> marks you as like a champion on the map. 
Good you lord. basically become a loot pinata and everyone wants to chase you down. Loot the pinata, last story not gonna be me. Is really the beginning nope. of a whole different part of the journey. Now you're set up for the end game, and that end game is rich with things to do that allow you to get more and more powerful. Whether it's new items or new dungeons or new paragon boards, every single time you come back to play Diablo 4, there's going to be new stuff for you to experience. And it's something that we're going to support for years to come. Of course you I'm are. I'm really excited <laughs> for folks to get their hands on Diablo That's kind of how Diablo works. Just to see millions of people really enjoying the different options. Through the campaign. Local events. Couch co-op. Endgame. PvP. It almost doesn't end. And we are so close. Um, this is I'm I'm amped. I'm excited. I'm excited. Everybody, please let it be without microtransactions. Oh, you you pure pure souls. It's not gonna be. And it's Blizzard, and Blizzard has been kind of getting more into that recently. So I already know that's gonna be it. Um I wouldn't be surprised if there's some sort of loot boxes. Hope it says that you can play like side by side with like people on the couch so i want to assume that it's not the entire game will have an online function but also an offline function because if you're just playing like two people i'd, I'd hope because there's so many games nowadays which as much as i love having online capability sometimes you want to play offline and especially if like Maybe one day your internet's shoddy, or it's going out, or, or whatever the case may be. You can still play the game without needing internet. Because there are so many games now that there is no offline option at all. Which kind of sucks. So if they have both options, that would be really, really nice. I, I'm so- I'm amped for this. I am amped. I want to be optimistic that this is going to it's gonna be good it's gonna be good we've waited a long freaking time for this game i know they have the mobile diablo game that came out not that long ago that people have been playing honestly i i haven't touched a diablo game in years because i kind of three it got repetitive after a while and i was tempted to try out two to be honest but i just haven't and now with the announcement of this i'm just gonna i'm just gonna hold it together till this one comes out but i would like to know your guys's opinions i do like diablo but i'm not a huge crazy diablo fangirl like i know some people are so that's where you guys become the experts. I would love to know your opinions. What do you think about this? Are you excited? Are you trying to be optimistic like I am? Or are you expecting the worst? Because uh, it seems like the consensus right now is a lot of people are... They want to be excited, but they also just don't want to be let down either. But... Like I said, thank you guys again so much for watching. If you like this, give it a big thumbs up. I'm going to be doing more reactions to other Microsoft and Bethesda things from the showcase. If you didn't see the Starfield one, I'll put a tap up there. And stay till the end of the video for a playlist that will have all of my reacts for the rest of the week. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for being here. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys!